In a harrowing escalation of hostilities, Israeli airstrikes on Lebanon have resulted in over 274 fatalities and more than 5,000 injuries, marking it as one of the most lethal days since the 2006 Israel-Hezbollah conflict. The strikes, aimed at 800 Hezbollah locations including weapon sites and communication centers, were justified by the Israeli military as a preemptive measure against an alleged imminent attack by Hezbollah on Israeli soil. The devastation spread across southern Lebanon and the eastern Bekaa Valley, regions known for their significant Hezbollah presence. The Israeli military issued stark warnings to civilians in southern Lebanon to evacuate Hezbollah strongholds, underscoring the complexity of military operations in areas where Hezbollah is accused of embedding its weapons among civilian populations. This tactic increases the risk to civilians, complicating efforts to avoid collateral damage. In response, the Lebanese government has taken urgent measures, including closing schools and preparing shelters, while condemning the airstrikes as acts of extermination. This air campaign is a part of a broader and alarming escalation between Israel and Hezbollah. The backdrop to the conflict is characterized by a continuous exchange of hostilities, with Israel persistently targeting multiple Hezbollah sites and Hezbollah retaliating by firing rockets into Israel. The violent exchanges have triggered mass displacement, forcing thousands of Lebanese, particularly from the southern regions, to flee their homes in search of safety. Tragedy compounds as Lebanese Health Minister Faras Abiyad reported that among those killed were 21 children and 39 women. The devastation inflicted by the airstrikes has crippled critical infrastructure, including hospitals and medical centers, exacerbating the humanitarian crisis that is rapidly unfolding. The Israeli military maintains that their operations are focused on dismantling Hezbollah's military apparatus. But Lebanese leaders fiercely decry the attacks as gross violations of their national sovereignty. Prime Minister Najib Mikati has expressed his outrage, describing the airstrikes as a heinous war of extermination, condemning Israel for what he claims is a deliberate strategy of targeting civilians and essential infrastructure. As international observers monitor the situation with growing concern, Many warn that the conflict possesses the dire potential to escalate into a full-scale war if swift measures for de-escalation are not urgently implemented. The world watches anxiously, hoping for peace but preparing for the ominous specter of a broader conflict.